Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and uh, today we're looking at Todoist, uh, which is a task manager app, in fact a very comprehensive one that's going to be definitely suited for you professionals out there, for those people who really uh, have to juggle a lot of tasks to keep themselves productive daily, weekly, monthly, and uh, yearly. Um, it's actually been around for a while uh, as far as a uh, desktop web browser based application. Uh, and many people used it. Uh, you know, like I said, it's very powerful. Uh, it finally just came to Android and iOS actually back in November, and I'm <clears throat> taking a look at it actually for the first time. Um, one of the cool things about Todoist is um, is it's project based, and uh, so you can set all your tasks based on projects and color code them, and really manage things as well as you can even include labels and uh, sort by uh, different filters. It's it's just, and we'll get into it here in a second. Now, when you first open the app, uh, it always uh, well not when you first so when you open the app at any given time, it'll always open to what's due for today. That's the default uh, setting and uh, navigating is sliding so this menu here is kind of a slider menu so um, it's one of the quirks about it that I don't like because it's designed that way they can't they don't utilize the back key if this was a full menu or a full screen here and these were different selections rather than sliders they could use the back key so I find that I hit the back key uh, when I'm in things a lot um, and uh, maybe I didn't hit it hard enough there and yeah and it goes right back to the home screen so that's a little bit of a pain but certainly not a, a huge deal um, so anyways the main area is projects and um, if you see here you have the tabs and obviously here are your projects and you can go in here and manage projects by editing any of these projects or um, add a project so if I want to change the title or anything like that so once you've created projects, um, you can, well, let me just go in and uh, do the edit or show you the color coding as well. So let's say I want to edit uh, Google I.O. You can see here I can make it different colors um, and um, you can also create a level one, level two, level three as well. So you can really fine tune your stuff. Right now, I'm just not that complex when it comes to tasks, so I'm not going to bother with any of that. So anyways, then you check off there that you're done and bingo. So uh, we're done with managing projects and um, we'll go right into Google I.O. And I have already two tasks created and I also have them under labels work. I've, right now I've created labels work and personal. Uh, most of the stuff is work based. And you can add a task simply by going into here putting the title in um, and you can do the due, da due date. The due date, um, they offer a lot of different abbreviated, um, shortened uh, abbreviations, shall we say, um, that you can use. Like you can say uh, TOD uh, for tomorrow, uh, or TOD for today, TOM for tomorrow, and you can just do these different things, like you can just put 10, and then th that means the next uh, 10 hours to occur. There's, that's a little bit of a learning curve there, but I'm sure a lot of people will use the same stuff over and over, so you can um, get used to what you put in there. Um, you can also go by here, but this is just puny. You can barely uh, read these. Um, however, you can kind of see where you are to see, like, for example, if today's Friday, it's already kind of uh, blank there. And I can see, well, I know Monday is right here, and they've got it lined up by week numbers. So anyway, you can go in. It's simple. Then you put in the uh, title of the uh, task, what it's under as far as, far as uh, we already in the Google I.O., but I can change it as far as which uh, project. And then I can add the label uh, to the task. And, of course, you can do your um, priority level. And you can also uh, put it into a subtask, level 1, level 2, level 3. And when you're done, you check it off. Now, uh, let's just go back here. One of the other interesting quirks is, now once you already have one created, you can go in here and postpone it, complete it, or add notes, which is also nice, and uh, you can edit it. To get reminders using the mobile app, uh, you have to type it in what you want, um, and you would do it um, based on the uh, greater than sign and less than sign, and, and then in between it put the terminology, remind today at, at uh 
at uh, 8 o'clock as I have there. Uh, you can use a lot of the same terminology that, you, that I just showed you as far as putting in dates. Uh, so you can say, um, you know, you can actually say remind TOD for today and all that good stuff um, and uh, at, at a certain time or whatever. So if you want to really get into setting up your reminders, you can do it on the desktop. Once you create an account, I guess I should go back also, I forgot to mention, you create an account with uh, Todoist and you can use your Gmail account or any email. Once you've done that, you have access to the desktop web-based interface as well as uh, this application. Setting up reminders is a lot easier on the desktop, but if you're someone who doesn't use a desktop a lot like myself, this is quirky. Uh, but I guess you can get used to it. It's not bad, for especially when you think about everything else you get out of this. So, um, you, so I could quickly change that if I want, and then that, my reminder uh, notification will come up as a pop-up. Again, you can also set that to text messaging or emails. You can do that on the web. Uh, you can change what you want as your default. So, um, pretty much that's that. And you know, I, by the way. I already have booked my airline tickets and uh, um, hotel because Google I.O. is coming up soon, but I have them here as sample tasks anyway, just to show you what it's like putting them in a project. So, um, and then there you go, and then I pretty much have uh, other projects there. Now, labels is, uh, you can create, manage labels is very similar to uh, manage projects where you can just go in and, you know, add ones or, you know, edit what you already have. But you can create labels which helps you sort by things and so here I have wor uh, work and personal so I can click I can basically tap on personal and, and right away see the tasks that I have due based on uh, personal uh, which is also very uh, you know nice and easy to uh, see your tasks in a different manner uh, and of course I can go into work which are uh, pretty much all the other uh, projects that I had there. Um, filters is another area where you can kind of set your own filters. Uh, let's just go into manage filters here. And I have um, basically this one is called uh, the tomorrow filter, and that's the command tomorrow, uh, T O M. Um, now you can go into do a whole bunch of stuff here. Like you can say, show me tasks in four days that are due in the next four days. Show me tasks due on Friday. Show me tasks uh, due on Friday, but this certain label labels are with the at sign. So show me personal um, tasks that are due over the next three days or due tomorrow. Show me overdue. There's just a bunch of different things you can do there. Very comprehensive. And once you set up uh, the query, it's it's already there and like for example this is the tomorrow uh, query so it's always there and uh, let me just hit done there so if I go in the tomorrow there it is pick up supplies uh, for Little League it's already there I quickly see what's due tomorrow so I can set up uh, this is just showing me all my personals which is the same one um, uh, anything under priority three um, oh, okay, so I have uh, c a complete uh, tech judging for CTIA as priority three. So you, you can see you can do all kinds of different things here. Tasks with no due date, uh, I don't have any. So you can have a variety of, different, of these different filters. So really comprehensive for you to really control your tasks. Um, now, here's the, the stickler here. Um, the app itself is free. However, there is a charge uh, to get a lot of these things like reminders, um, which is a very key component for tasks, but they add that into the premium feature. And also labels, I believe, and there might be some other stuff. Uh, filters, I guess, would be already included. Uh, but if I'm wrong, uh, forgive me there. Uh, but labels and, um, and reminders, whoops, and reminders um, are the big thing that you get extra in the uh, premium. Now here's the, the story with that. It's not a one-time charge for the app like $5. It, it, it costs $29.99 annually which you know to me it's a little steep but when I say that I say that by with the idea that I'm not a huge task guy. I use a simple task app myself uh, for things because uh, I just have a few. I'm not I'm not I don't personally need a lot of this, um, you know, this sophistication. But uh, I will say this: that this is one of the best tasks app, tasks app I've ever apps I've ever seen. And priced at twenty nine ninety nine, if you're a professional that and you need this sort of thing, that isn't too much uh, to ask for. Um, 
uh, but it is, you know, it is a, it is not cheap, that's for sure. Um, and that's all I can really say about it. It's probably not something uh, that I would uh, utilize. Now, for if in my feeling is what they should do is offer it at uh, free or at a lower price, but maybe make it for, you know, to limit you in the number of projects or tasks for the free or a cheap, much cheaper version like $5 for a one-time purchase or something for the person who isn't a huge task user, but then for the real professional who maybe needs more than, I don't know, say 10, 10 projects going or maybe it's five projects, whatever, then maybe charge them the twenty nine ninety nine annually. Um, but, you know, to me, to take out uh, notifications out of it, doesn't seem appropriate to, to charge the twenty nine ninety nine. But if you're not, you know, and there are a lot of people who don't depend on notifications, uh, you know, and you could utilize this. And if you don't need the labels, this is a, a very good app that you could use. I mean, look at Google Keep does not have notifications and a lot of people like it. Now, there is a widget also to help you manage things um, right there where you can see what's due today at any given time. You can also set it up for uh, different things. Uh, it doesn't have to be just today. It could be um, a different projects and stuff like that. So you can you can have the widget on your screen, which also helps you. So it's a great app. Um, like I said, it's called Todoist, and it really is probably one of the most comprehensive task managing apps I've ever seen. And I think uh, you know definitely give it a try because it is free. And if uh, and with if you think about all the different stuff you get on the desktop, and there's a Google uh, there's a Chrome extension as well, which uh, does a lot of things like uh, allowing you to add URLs to tasks. So it's kind of like a read it later type thing. Really nice. I definitely would give this a shot. Um, and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.